Hello, it's Easy Target coming back at you with another Fortnite video. In this video, I'm going to show you the problems and the fixes to using ESDF as your movement keys. I feel like it's a better option to use because it opens up a lot of the keyboard for you, plus it's the natural placement for your hand. So whenever you're going down, you're placing your hand, you got that little finger indicator to where to place down your hand. So normally you don't want to look back down at the keyboard. So if you lift your hand up for some reason, you can just put it down without looking at the keyboard. That's why I originally wanted to go back to it. Whenever you're using WASD, I go down and I can't find my home position without looking down at the keyboard. It was really making me mad. My keybinds may not be 100% to what people like, but it works for me and that's what I use. So I'm not saying this is the best keybinds for ESDF, but I think ESDF has a huge advantage over WASD that a lot of people don't realize. First off, I want to fix the main problem with ESDF. Whenever you're moving right with the F button, for some reason, it will not move. It, it stops, it stutters you. If you're moving left, it just moves left just like normal. So you can strafe and not have a problem whenever you're having a fight. But if you're strafing for whatever reason, it just kind of stops and does this stutter stop stuff. Some people actually stop completely, uh, so that's a huge problem. If you're pushing forward and right, you're fine. So as long as you're pushing multiple keys and you're going right, you're good to go. But that's not a fix. Um, on keyboard and mouse on PC, I have not found a fix for this besides what I'm going to show you here. So what I have done, most people on PC have a gaming keyboard. Most gaming keyboards you can reprogram and remap your keys. So what I've done was mapped my F button to L, a button that I'll never use for Fortnite, and I bind it from my F key. In Fortnite, I come over to settings, and my move right is L. I have it on F just in, uh, in case I... Um, I have the wrong profile selected for my gaming keyboard, but you want to make sure that you have it both on there just in case, like you said, like I said, uh, you don't switch it back over to the right profile and you'll figure out in game and then you can hurry up and switch back over to the right profile. Uh, but doing this is whenever I switch it over to my second profile here, whenever I move right, now it's fixed. So in your gaming software, so me, I have a Razer keyboard. I go in there, I set F to be L and that's it. You just got to make sure you have that profile set up right. And then whenever you go back to your normal profile, you want it to have F set up like as normal so you can type. Otherwise, you'll be typing L for every time you push F. Uh, but that is the fix for me. But that is the fix for me for the F issue. I know people that play left handed uh, with a mouse, they need to set up the um, IJKL. That's the equivalent to what I'm doing right here because then you got the finger indicator on the J button and the J does the same thing uh, for them. I've seen a video on YouTube saying that they had the issue. There is no fix that they had. They are just stating the problem and this is the problem. Just remap it to a completely different button that you don't use normally and you should be good to go. All right, and then moving on to some other issues that you have whenever you do move over to ESDF are some key binds. So if we come over here to the key binds and we're just going to scroll through here and we'll go over some of this stuff right now. All right, one of the obvious ones are going to be the reload. So your R is not going to be your reload anymore. Change that over to T. That's the equivalent to R. So it's going to be a natural feel for you. Using items, you're going to have to move it over to G. And like I said, a lot of these key binds, you may want to switch to your to something that suits you better, but these key binds work for me. And some of these ones that I'm specifically noting are the big changed ones that you have to do because otherwise they conflict with your ESDF. If you don't like the specific button that I pick, just make sure you change it to one that's comfortable for you. Your edit is a huge one, so you got to change that over as well, otherwise it'll be conflicting with some of your other builds or some of your other keybinds. And one of the biggest things that I was having issues with was vehicles. So there's so many vehicles in Fortnite and how many vehicles they have set up in the game that they don't actually have in the game, but you do have to make sure that you change for it. Otherwise, you're going to have big issues because you'll be exiting with your with your E. So moving forward, 
going in a boat or whatnot it's just immediately ejecting you from the boat which is not good so you got to go through any of these vehicles that are active in the current season and set it up for you so it doesn't conflict with your with your e for moving forward um that's like here's the motorboat i have to do exit as driver as r exit as passenger as e i should probably fix that because whenever i'm in the passenger seat sometimes i just hit e and it pops me out but other than that, uh, you want to make sure that you just change these settings. It's not too big of an issue because you're not pushing forward while you're a passenger. So that's why I haven't really changed it too much. But keep note of that. All these different settings that you want to change. Um, there are some settings for replay mode that I haven't been able to fix myself. Like moving the camera around. It introduces a little bit of an issue while you're trying to move the camera. So I don't know the real fix for replay mode whenever you're inside there. Uh, just because whenever I'm pushing E to go forward, it's pushing me up into the sky as well. So then I have to go down. So it's a big, big problem in replay. So I don't, I just don't know what the fix is for that. If you have a suggestion for a replay mode on how to fix this with these key binds, please leave it down in the comment section below. I sure would appreciate it. Uh, but other than that, I think that's the biggest thing. I just wanted to go over the fix for F or if you have it J. The big stutter step is a huge problem. Um, you don't want to obviously be stutter stepping whenever you're playing a game. This could definitely this could get you killed very easily if you're trying to go a wall or something and then you start stutter stepping around it. Um, and then also the vehicle thing. The vehicle thing is very annoying. So um, I could whenever I was playing duos. Uh, I couldn't go into the driver's seat and whenever I was playing by myself I would just avoid boats in uh, completely because I couldn't drive them so Fix those issues um, One quick thing to note with your programmable keyboard if you have an RGB keyboard um, The profiles sometimes aren't the easiest to switch between or like know to switch ones you're on so I have it set up to whenever I switch my Profiles on my keyboard with the eraser. It's function and like the list button right next to it um, It also changes the color of my keyboard So whenever I'm in game and I have the in-game controls it switches over to red whenever I'm in typing mode It's white um, Obviously you can change it to your own setup if you want to have a little animated RGB in there You can do that. But that's basically it. I just wanted to Help you guys out if this video did help you out. Please leave a like thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I sure would appreciate it. Other than that, this is easy and I'm out.